Hi Fudgies and welcome to a special mystery subscriber Bunches of Lunches. That's right, you submitted your lunch ideas and then we let our mystery wheel pick the winners for today's video. Before we get started, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and don't forget to click the bell so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. And now it's time to spin the wheel for lunch number one. And the winner is Angel. Angel is 12 years old and she is from Alabama. And I'm gonna be making Angel a hot lunch today, starting with some pasta with Alfredo sauce. So for this Alfredo sauce, I'm starting with this jar I got from Trader Joe's, but I'm gonna doctor it up just a little bit. And then in a separate pot, I will boil up these noodles. And then when both the sauce and the noodles are piping hot, I can combine the two in the thermos. Now for Angel's fruit today, she chose a combination of strawberries and watermelon. I went ahead and added both to these little skewers because fruit on a stick is always more fun. And I put them in a separate container so I don't get their juices on the rest of the lunch. Next, I'm gonna throw in some cucumber. And for this, I'm gonna bust out my new slicer. And I'm gonna cut these into waffle cucumbers. And then just for fun, I'm gonna do the same thing to some carrots. And of course, I'm going to include some ranch to go along with both of these. I just got these really cute new containers over the weekend. I like this one, it says, please take a break on the top. So there's just a little bit of ranch in there. I'll go ahead and stick it right in there. The next thing Angela picked for her lunch is yogurt, but her favorite is actually the caramel flavored flip yogurt. Now for the special treat in this lunch, Angela chose a fruit roll up. And I was super excited to find these at my local grocery store. This is exactly the same kind that I used to eat when I was a kid. They come in lots of different flavors. There's apricot and green apple, watermelon and grape. I'll go ahead and show you one up close. These fruit roll-ups are really thick, almost like a fruit leather. My kids have never tried these, so I think they're gonna be super excited to give them a try. For Angela's lunch, I'm gonna put the watermelon flavor because I already know she likes watermelon. Next, I'm gonna add in my spork. She can use a spoon for the yogurt and the fork for the pasta. And then last but not least, the drink of the day. Angela chose some lemonade. So I'm gonna throw in this lemonade pouch from Trader Joe's, and that is it. There's everything in Angela's lunch. Let's see what the kids think. Now, since the kids aren't actually taking any of these subscriber lunches to school with them, I'm just gonna go ahead and make one of each and the kids can share. That way they can still tell us what they liked. Okay guys, what was your favorite? My favorite was the noodles. My favorite was the flip in the noodles. The watermelon was my favorite. And now we're gonna spin the wheel again for lunch number two. And this time the winner is Bruna. Bruna is 17 and she is from Brazil. Now you guys, I really loved Bruna's lunch ideas because not only is her name Bruna and she's from Brazil, but all of the foods that she chose today start with the letter B. So for this lunch, I'm gonna start by preparing some brazi bites because they do take quite a while in the oven, like 20 minutes. If you've never had a brazi bite, they're actually really good. It's like a very light and airy ball of bread. Lots of cheese in there and these ones are gluten free. Now I find these at my local grocery store and they do come in lots of different flavors, but today I just went with the cheddar and Parmesan ones. Now Bruna, if you're watching this, let me know in the comments down below what flavor you like to have. So they come as these little pieces of dough. I'm just gonna spread them out and pop them in the oven. Next, I'm gonna get started on the special treat because it also takes a little bit of time to prepare. I'm gonna make something called a brigadeiro, which is a very traditional Brazilian dessert. I've heard of these before, but I've never made them. For this recipe, I'm using some sweetened condensed milk, some cocoa powder, some butter, and just a pinch of salt. Oh yes, and you can't forget the sprinkles for this. You gotta have sprinkles. Now traditionally, you're supposed to use the chocolate sprinkles, I believe, but I've also seen recipes that use rainbow, so I'm gonna do some of both. Now if you've never tried these, they're kinda like a cross between a truffle or a fudge ball, but what I think is really cool is that these are not hard to make at all. So now I'm gonna set this aside until it cools down and then I can do the next step, which is really fun because we're gonna add the sprinkles. I'm gonna roll these into little bite-sized balls, and then I'm gonna roll those balls in the sprinkles. 
So now that our brassy bites are done, I can get those into the lunchbox. I think these are good warm or at room temperature. For the vegetable today, Bruna chose some broccoli. And then of course, I'm gonna add some ranch. To go along with this, I'm also adding some trail mix, but this trail mix has some Brazil nuts, which I think is perfect for today's theme. For the fruit today, Bruna chose a banana. And then of course the treat today is gonna be one or two of the brigadeiros that we made. And then of course we also have the special drink, which for today is just going to be some mango juice, which doesn't technically start with B, but that's okay. My favorite was the um, chocolate ball. Chocolate balls, what about you, Jack? My favorite was the uh, rainbow chocolate ball. I don't really like the chocolate ones. You think rainbow sprinkles are way better than chocolate sprinkles? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what about you, Kenzie? I actually really like the cheese balls. Yeah, do you know those are gluten free? Oh, they are? Yeah, so even daddy can eat them. Next up is mystery lunch number three, and the winner is Hannah. Hannah is a 13 and she's from Ireland. And the first thing she chose for her special lunch today is chicken chow mein. And for this, I'm gonna take a little help from the store. They make really good frozen chicken chow mein. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat that up. This has noodles and chicken, lots of vegetables, and a yummy sauce all in the bag. This just takes a few minutes to heat up and then I'm gonna add it to the thermos. For the fruit today, Hannah chose watermelon. But the only one I could find at my grocery store was this teeny tiny one. But that's okay, it's still really cute. And to make them even cuter, I cut them in the shape of a flower. Next, we're moving on to the veggies. Hannah chose a combination of carrots and peppers. So I went ahead and cut all these into sticks, perfect for dipping in ranch. To this lunch, I'm also gonna add a granola bar. And these are just the Jif Power Up Bars. You, you might have seen these in last week's video. And this one's just the peanut butter flavor, which is one of my favorites. For Hannah's special treat today, she chose a Reese's peanut butter cup. But I actually found the heart-shaped ones in my grocery store. Can you believe it? The stores already have Valentine's Day candy. And then last but not least, I also have a very special drink for Hannah. She chose a combination of cranberry raspberry juice, which is one of my favorites. And I'm gonna go ahead and add it to this reusable juice box. These are so fun and surprisingly they don't leak. I'm gonna go ahead and add just a few extra picks in here just for fun. And then there you have it, there's Hannah's special lunch. My favorite was the watermelon. I knew you were gonna say that, you love fruit. What about you, Jack? My favorite was the Reese's, yeah, that's definitely a treat. For mystery lunch number four, the winner is Allie. Allie is 14 years old and she is from Australia. Now the first thing that Allie chose for her lunch are Asian inspired lettuce cups. And she even sent a recipe to me for these. So for the filling of our lettuce cups, I'm gonna start by cooking some finely diced onion and carrots together. I'm gonna add lots of salt and pepper. I'm also adding garlic and ginger. So while this filling is nice and hot, I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the thermos. And then I'm gonna move on to the fruit. For Allie's lunch today, she chose a combination of cantaloupe and watermelon. And to make this cantaloupe really cute, I'm gonna use my melon baller. And now it's time to fill the lunch box. For this, I'm actually using some butter lettuce. It's nice and soft, and it just makes the perfect little cup for our filling. It almost ends up being like a taco, but made of lettuce. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add the fruit. I ended up adding both the watermelon and cantaloupe to these little skewers. And then in this back section, I'm gonna go ahead and add some edamame. I think that goes really well with our lettuce cups. For the snack today, Allie chose Chex Mix. So in this little bag, you'll find the Chex cereal. There's also pretzels. I think these are a great alternative to potato chips. For the drink today, she chose a Capri Sun, and I went ahead and got the fruit punch flavor. This is the kind that is 100% juice, cause that's what we prefer. I definitely wanted to include an Australian treat for this. These are Tim Tams. Now these are actually pretty easy to find in America. I like the mint ones myself, but it's basically a little wafer cookie with a cream in the center. And I have to say, I was really tempted to make fairy bread for the treat today. If you've never heard of fairy bread, it's definitely another Australian treat. I have a separate video on that if you'd like to check it out, but I thought that Tim Tams would be easier. Okay guys, what was your favorite? 
Um, my favorite was the chocolate bars. The Tim Tams? Mm -hmm. What did you think of the lettuce cups? It was interesting, kind of. Next up is mystery lunch number five, and the winner is Angela. Angela is a 13 and she is from Greece. I'm super excited to throw some Greek food into today's lunch. But for today's lunch, I'm actually gonna start with a treat first, because that's gonna take the longest. And Angela chose some Greek cookies. But you guys, the name for these is super hard to pronounce. So I'm not even gonna try. If you know how to pronounce these, let me know in the comments down below. So these are basically a buttery cookie. They're a little bit crumbly, a little bit sweet. And my recipe says that these are traditionally served in a crescent shape and dipped in powdered sugar. Now for the main dish of today's lunch, Angela chose a gyros, another really hard word for me to pronounce. And you guys, I definitely did not make this myself. In my town, there's a really good Greek restaurant, so I just picked this up to make this lunch a little bit easier today. Now, to go along with this today, I'm also gonna, I'm adding some of this Mediterranean hummus. I get this from Trader Joe's and it's really good. And I'm gonna add this to a new container. On one side, there's a spot for dip, and on the other side, there are spots for chips or vegetables. But for today, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these pita chips from Trader Joe's. This is not something that my kids have ever tried, so we'll see if they like them or not. Now moving on to the fruit, Angela chose a banana, and to make this extra fun, I'm going to write a secret message in this banana. I'm basically just gonna scratch her name on the outside of the banana, and over time, you'll be able to see the name even better. Next, I'm gonna add in a few tomatoes. I'll add a few of the cookies. And then this wasn't technically on Angela's list, but I wanted the kids to try some spanakopita because they've never tried it before. There's spinach and cheese in there. I got this at Trader Joe's and it smells really good. And then last but not least, we have the drink today. Angela chose lemonade. And there you have it, there's Angela's lunch. Okay guys, what'd you think of this lunch? The wrap had an interesting spice that I never had before. But my favorite was the pita chips and the hummus. My favorite um, was the cookies because I love powdered sugar. <laughs> what about you, Jack? I just like the pita chips. The pita chips. See you next week! If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.